The screencast covers the practice set from Module 4, Lesson 9, in which we use fractions and multiplication to convert between units of measure and solve word problems. All right, let's look at the first one. Uh, we can solve these either using mathematical equations or a tape diagram. Um, you have a choice. I'm going to do both. So we'll make a tape diagram. And we have one whole year. We're going to partition that into six equal parts. And we want five out of those six. Well, if we take a year, we know that one year equals 12 months. And since we have 12 months, it's the same as one year. We divide that 12 by 6, we get 2 in each one of these. We answer the question. It equals 10 months if we look at that representation. Now let's look at it mathematically. Here we have a number of steps that uh, we solve. So we have 5 6 years equals 5 6 times 1 year. And now convert 1 year to months. So 5 6 times 12 months equals 5 times 12 over 6. We will now uh, distribute, cancel these. So we get a 1, we get a 2 for the 12, they're both divisible by 6, and I get 10 months. Let's do another example. This time we have meters to centimeters. And again, we can make that tape diagram. We'll have one meter. We're going to divide it into five equal parts. We know that one meter equals 100 centimeters. So if I take that 100 centimeters and I divide it by five, I only get 20 in each one of these. 25 times this is 100. We want four fifths, so I'll partition four of the five. And 4 fifths of 100, we can look at the diagram, that's 20 times 4. The answer is 80 centimeters. Let's use the mathematical procedure. So 4 fifths meter equals 4 fifths times 1 meter. We're going to substitu substitute centimeters for meters. And 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. We'll now solve, and we see that both 5 and 100 are divisible by 5. 100 divided by 5 is 20. 5 divided by 5 is 1. The answer is 80 centimeters. Hours and minutes. Again, we can use that tape diagram. And we have one whole hour. We know that one whole hour is equal to 60 minutes. We need to know these uh, units of conversion. The state no longer gives us, state of New York anyway, no longer gives us conversion charts that include many of these units. So if one hour is 60 minutes and we divide that into three equal parts, we get 20 minutes in each one of these. We want two thirds. And two times 20 is 40. So the answer is 40 minutes. Mathematically, 2 thirds of an hour equals 2 thirds times 1 hour. That's the same as 2 thirds times 60 minutes. We'll solve 2 times 60 over the 3. Both the 3 and the 60 are divisible by 3. And we get 40 minutes once again. The final one is yards to inches. And sometimes kids get confused with this. We just simply need to either memorize that or we can convert yards to um, inches step by step because we know that 
one yard equals three feet. Okay, and each foot is 12 inches, so three times 12 is 36. So the conversion factor between yards and inches is this 36. You should know this. Uh, if not, that's the way you figure it out. But it's we're going to have to know these uh, conversion factors. Again, we'll do the tape diagram first. I have one yard, and that equals three thirty-six inches. So we have three fourths. I'll partition into four equal parts. Now, thirty-six divided by four is nine. So each one of these is nine. We want three fourths. And 3 times 9 equals 27. So the answer is 27 inches. Mathematically, 3 fourths of a yard equals 3 fourths times 1 yard equals 3 fourths. Every yard is 36 inches times 36 inches. We now go. And start to solve. 3 times 36 over 4. Both 36 and 4 are divisible by 4. And I get the answer 27 inches. Let's do a few word problems. At the market, Mr. Paul bought 7 8 pounds of cashews and 3 quarter pounds of walnuts. We have uh, 1, 2, A and B here, and uh, on the next slide we're going to have C and D, so we see that this is uh, a problem where we're going to have to carry information over from uh, previous problems, or parts of the problem. So we have cashews. Well, he has 7 eighths of a pound of cashews. So 7 eighths of a pound equals 7 eighths times one pound. How many ounces in a pound? 16. Again, we need to know these. That equals 7 eighths times 16. Let's back up and erase that and heat this up a little bit. Both 16 and 8 are divisible by 8. 7 times 2 is 14. So again, we should write a statement here, uh, but for the sake of brevity, I'm going to leave the answer at 14 ounces, and you should write, Mr. Paul bought 14 ounces of cashews. We have the same uh, procedure here with walnuts, except we have three-fourths of a pound. We'll use our protocol here. And one pound is, again, equal to 16 ounces. We'll start to solve. 3 times 16 divided by 4. Both 16 and 4 are divisible by 4. And the answer is 12 ounces. And again, you can use a tape diagram if you like. Uh, either way, but this is, uh, I'm, I'm showing the mathematical way to do this. Uh, okay, so we have 14 ounces and 12 ounces. Let's carry that over to the next slide. From the previous problem, we know that we have 14 ounces of cashews. And we have 12 ounces of walnuts. This is a pretty simple problem. How many more ounces of cashews than walnuts did Mr. Paul buy? Simply subtract. We see how many more. Two ounces. Two ounces. So we should make this statement that Mr. Paul bought two ounces more of cashews than walnuts. If Mrs. Toombs bought one and one half pounds of pistachios, who bought more nuts? Mr. Paul or Mrs. Toombs? Well, let's start with Mr. Paul, because we know that he had uh, 14 ounces and we had 12 ounces. So, to find out how many nuts in all that he, Mr. Toombs uh, bought was simply add these two numbers. And we get 26 ounces. So, we'll, Mr., uh, Mr. Paul 
at 26 ounces. And we notice that Mrs. Toombs is in pounds here. So we're going to convert that to pounds. So we have one and one half pounds equals one and one half times one pound. So we're going to convert them uh, so that they're the like units. So we're going to convert pounds to ounces. Now one and a half, I'm going to change that to an improper fraction. So we have three halves times one pound. And now three halves times one pound is 16 ounces. Let's start solving the problem. Three times 16 divided by 2. We can divide both 16 and 2 by 2. And we get 24 ounces. So who bought more? Well, this is Mrs. Toombs. And this is Mr. Paul. We can say that 26 is greater than 24. Therefore, Mr. Paul bought more nuts. And how much more? Well, really simple. Simply 26 minus 24. Uh, that's 2 ounces. So we could say he bought 2 ounces more nuts than Mrs. Toombs. One last problem here. A jewelry maker purchased 20 inches of gold change. She used three eighths of the chain for a bracelet. How many did she have left? We'll start with the tape diagram. We have 20. This is our hole. And we're going to partition this into eight equal parts. And we want three eighths for the bracelet. We can do it this way. We could say, or we can just uh, partition this. And we can partition this and say left. Okay, and again, we could put the L's in there. It depends on how you want to do how your representation. There's options. So, how many are left? Well, we see that three eighths are used for the bracelet, and we have five eighths left. So, we want to find out how much is left. That's our question mark right there. Five eighths times 20 equals five times 20 over eight. Both 20 and eight are divisible by four. This becomes a 2. This becomes a 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Divided by 2, or 25 halves. And our answer becomes 12 and 1 half. So 12 and 1 half inches. Again, we should make that statement. I'm not going to right now to keep the video down to a reasonable size. But we have 12 and 1 half inches of gold chain left.